Chapter 33 The Majesty of God This is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. He said, Yahweh came from Sinai and rose from Seir to them. He shone forth from Mount Paran. He came from the ten thousands of holy ones. At his right hand was a fiery law for them. Yes, he loves the people. All his saints are in your hand. They sat down at your feet. Everyone shall receive of your words. Moses commanded us a law an inheritance for the assembly of Jacob. He was king in Jeshurun when the heads of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together. The Blessings of the Twelve Tribes Let Reuben live and not die, nor let his men be few. This is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Yahweh, the voice of Judah. Bring him in to his people. With his hands he contended for himself. You shall be a help against his adversaries. Of Levi, he said, Your Thummim and your Urim are with your godly one, whom you proved at Massa, with whom you strove at the waters of Meribah, who said of his father and of his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brothers, nor did he know his own children, for they have observed your word and keep your covenant. They shall teach Jacob your ordinances and Israel your law. They shall put incense before you and hold burnt offering on your altar. Yahweh, bless his substance, accept the work of his hands. Strike through the hips of those who rise up against him, of those who hate him, that they not rise again. Of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of Yahweh shall dwell in safety by him. He covers him all the day long. He dwells between his shoulders. Of Joseph, he said, His land is blessed by Yahweh for the precious things of the heavens, for the dew, for the deep that couches beneath, for the precious things of the fruits of the sun, for the precious things of the growth of the moons, for the chief things of the ancient mountains, for the precious things of the everlasting hills, for the precious things of the earth and its fullness, the good will of him who lived in the bush, let the blessing come on the head of Joseph, on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. The firstborn of his herd, majesty is his. His horns are the horns of the wild ox. With them he shall push the peoples, all of them, even the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousands of Ephraim. They are the thousands of Manasseh. Of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and Issachar in your tents. They shall call the peoples to the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall draw out the abundance of the seas, the hidden treasures of the sand. Of Gad, he said, He who enlarges Gad is blessed. He dwells as a lioness, and tears the arm, yes, the crown of the head. He provided the first part for himself, for there was the lawgiver's portion reserved. He came with the heads of the people. He executed the righteousness of Yahweh, his ordinances with Israel. Of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's cub that leaps out of Bashan. Of Naphtali, he said, Naphtali, satisfied with favor, full of blessing of Yahweh, possess the west and the south. Of Asher, he said, Asher is blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brothers. 
let him dip his foot in oil. Your bars shall be iron and brass, as your days, so your strength will be. The Excellence of Israel There is none like God, Jeshurun, who rides on the heavens for your help, in his excellency on the skies. The eternal God is your dwelling place. Underneath are the everlasting arms. He thrust out the enemy from before you, and said, Destroy! Israel dwells in safety, the fountain of Jacob alone, in a land of grain and new wine. Yes, his heavens drop down dew. You are happy, Israel. Who is like you? A people saved by Yahweh, the shield of your help the sword of your excellency. Your enemies shall submit themselves to you. You shall tread on their high places.